It is 6.03. The Rangers look to end a 54-year drought. More on that next when we check in with K97 Sports. Okay, I'm only going to say this once. Eaton's good satisfactory or money refunded. <laughs> 6.02 and a good. Good morning, gang. I'm John Sexsmith. This is K97 Sports. The Rangers starting the playoffs pretty much like they finished the NHL regular season. That's K97 Sports. Sharon has K97 satellite weather next. The Dairy Bureau of Canada presents a great Canadian butter interview with toast. Don't be left out in the heat. See your Honda dealers today. K97's five day satellite forecast up to 10 for high today, 14 tomorrow. Lots of sunshine both days. We drop down to minus one overnight. For Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, highs between 16 and 18 degrees. In Edmonton this morning, we are at plus two. It is 6.06. I'm Sharon Mallon with Sharky, Johnny Sexsmith, and Bruce Kenyon, the K97 Breakfast Club Monday morning live as we clean Sharky's apartment. Spring cleaning, and believe me, have we got our hands full. Mm -hmm. A cursory glance tells me there's much too much dust around here. See so. how dirty those bulbs are? I know. <sighs> and he has two birds he lets fly free, Sharon. Uh, Who knows what that could spell for us. Please. Gary Shandling on the way in the comedy shop in a couple of minutes. Here's Kenny Loggins on K97 with Footloose. We'll also hear from Fleetwood Mac shortly. It's Footloose on K97 from Kenny Loggins. Ten minutes after six and we're at two degrees. The high today, ten. Uh, this morning, we find out who wins the trip to London to see the Phantom of the Opera. Now, if your name is entered for that, we'll make that draw about 20 minutes before eight. We're cleaning Sharky's apartment. Okay, are we going to uh, spring cleaning, of course, divvy up the mm -hmm. chores here? Okay, Dave, Dave Human, our engineer, you can have the bathroom, okay? <laughs> so. Do we have one of those sanitized suits we can put them uh, in? Well, what should we do? I'll... Uh, I'll I don't I'm pretty know. good at vacuuming. Well, you can't turn the vacuum on. We're going to wake up the whole building. Oh. Look at the walls around here. You can see through them, for God's sake. That's I'm a good there. snooper, so I'll continue looking around. You've already snooped. You see all the bacon the, bits Sharky has? He has a thing for bacon bits. <laughs> I did notice that. Okay. Well, dusting. How about, I'll do dusting. Okay, I'll start with dusting. Sharon, I think you should start with the bottom of the birdcage. I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> The people who purchased this advertising... You know, and uh, this way I can just sit home alone listening to Air Supply thinking I'm cool. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> Listen again for another classic from the K97 Comedy Shop. Gary Shandling on K97's Comedy Shop. Good morning. It's quarter after six. Todd James is by with a uh, movie review for us at 20 after six. This morning, he'll review Love and Human Remains. Temperatures two degrees, 10 for a high today with Fleetwood Mac on K97. Sharky, you actually eat that stuff? My goodness. He's got mashed potatoes in a can. Ugh. See this? I've already started to... Smell that lemony freshness with the lemon pledge as we clean Sharky's house. It's spring cleaning, of course. And we've got our hands full, but we're digging in. John's now emptying the cupboards. <laughs> Watch those eight bottles of bacon bits, okay? <laughs> It's Go West on K97 with Faithful. We're at 23 after 6 and 2 degrees. It looks like a lovely day. Well, not that warm, though. What a weekend it was. Boy, oh, boy. 10 for the high today. We're up to 14 tomorrow. Sunshine both days, so we're back to nice temperatures before long. Uh, we're spring cleaning this morning. Monday morning live at Sharky's uh, Sexy Bachelor Pad. Sharon, you have a couple of questions well, for Well, I'm Sharky? just stunned. We're going through the cupboards here. Sharky, like, why is your soup with your light bulbs? Sharon, because you know, that's the way I like it. Oh. But, I mean, it doesn't make sense. And I see you've got little baking cups. Like, I didn't know you baked cupcakes. Yes, I do. That's well, why I have baking cups. Yeah, but what do you... But, like, what recipes do you use? The instant ones. You add an egg and water, and that's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and these instant mashed potatoes. I can't believe you eat potatoes out of a can. Yes, I do, Sharon. That's Sharky, why I bought it. You eat... <laughs> He's a little sensitive, isn't he? Well, you, you know, eat, you're picking on me. You eat worse than I do. Uh, I mean, look at this. Where do you well, keep your lentil soup, Sharky? My what? Lentil <laughs> soup. You know, I'm, I'm the one that eats In the, the microwave for 37 and a half seconds, and it's done, <laughs> right? You know? Anyway, I've already done some dusting in there, and Sharky's mom and his aunt have shown up to help us out. I can't believe this. We'll be done in no time. Two degrees is our current temperature. Well, in case you're out of town the weekend you just got back, I want to let you know the orders are still here. Details from the K97 newsroom at 630. Over one million people across Canada. Give love and human remains... 
four out of five. That's K97's Minute and a Half of Movies. I'm Todd James. Thanks, Todd. 27 after six. Chucky's got his birds out of the cage and they're doing their business all over the heck. Monday Morning Live as we clean Sharky's place. We'll be cleaning forever with these birds. Aww. It's Kenny Lang on K97 and just keep me moving. Uh, in a few minutes time, we're going to tell you how your child can win a fishing rod from the fishing hole. It's a beauty. We saw one last week. I'll tell you about that in a couple of minutes time. Monday morning live as we put Sharky's house in ship shape. Spring cleaning this morning. Two degrees, 630. And Sharon Mallon's here with the K97 information update. Well, in case you're out of town on the weekend, you'll be glad to know the Oilers are still here. K97's Midas Buffalo Road Ranger. Ah, there she goes now. Sharon, not quite as warm as the weekend, but looking pretty good. We'll still get up to 10 for a high today. 14 tomorrow. Lots of sunshine both days. It looks great for the end of the week. For Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, highs between 16 and 18 degrees. We'll take that. Tonight in Edmonton, we drop down to a minus one. In our city this morning, we're at 2 degrees. It is 637. I'm Sharon Mallon with Sharky, Johnny Sexsmith, and Bruce Kenyon, the K97 Breakfast Club. Monday morning live as we spring clean Sharky's apartment. And although it's a big job, we're making great headway so far. Listen, uh, K97 on the fishing hole teaming up to present the little one that got away. It is a chance for your kid to win uh, their very own beginner's fishing rod. Now, the way it works is we'll be doing this every day, okay, for the next oh, it goes on for infinity, in fact. When you have the kids hear this sound effect, they got to be the first caller through. So this is what they want to hear. You hear that? Reeling in the big one. So keep listening. You'll hear that sound effect before 7 o'clock. We'll check the entertainment file in a couple of minutes' time. Here's Michael Bolton on K97. Love is a wonderful thing. John, get over here. Love is a wonderful thing for Michael Bolton on K97. 18 before 7. You see, Sharon, all these things that Sharky does. Uh Uh-huh. Everyone except you does that. Oh, no, do, you, no. do you understand what no, I'm no. telling you here? He's, he's very weird. I mean, I'm not judging oh, you, Sharon. Oh, nice. I'm, not, I'm not judging. I'm just making an observation. No, Sharon, like I told you, everyone else is like Sharky, and then there's you. <laughs> okay? Let's check the entertainment file. Tom and Roseanne. What? Splitsville. Divorce. Really? I'm told not to make too much out of this. I'm sure we'll hear about it from James St. James. Rumors of a fight in a limousine at a movie opening the other night, and also there's talk that she's going to kick him off the show. Show. So that would indicate there are some problems. Is with he on the show? Isn't he a producer or something, so. John? Like he's a big wig on the show. I'm, really? I have no yeah, idea. Yeah. Dudley Moore got married on the weekend. This and is to yeah, the lady. This is kind of strange. Well, he had a fight with, yeah. yeah. Anyway, he did his best Arthur impersonation at the wedding. I guess oh, he was yeah? drinking too much champagne. He giggled through the whole ceremony. And he lives right on the beach at Marina Del Rey. And they went for a romantic romp down the beach. He fell down flat in his face. Everybody watching. Sad blasted. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Connick also got married on the weekend. I uh, thought he was all already married. No, they've been talking about it forever. He finally did it. And oh. Pierce Brosnan and Juliana Phillips are now an item. She used to be oh, married to Springsteen. Springsteen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now she's on the show Sisters, okay? Steely Dan are going to tour again later in the year. <laughs> tour again later in the year. Stones are apparently having trouble finding a sponsor for their summer tour, which I find difficult to believe. Anyway, the... <laughs> You know, these two, if they seem distracted, because Sharky has this bird, and he's, he's bothering us with it. Here, speak. Come on. Come on. Come on. Little birdie. Come on. Come on. I know. I Get him mind. to jump. Get him. We'll call it sure. budgie jumping. Budgie <laughs> jumping. <laughs> 16 now before 7. There's a look at the entertainment file. It's 15 minutes before 7 as we clean Sharky's apartment. We're doing the spring cleaning thing. Listen, we'll give away that trip for two to London to see the Phantom at 20 minutes before 8, okay? And keep listening for that fishing reel. It's coming up real soon. John, working with the utensils over there? Keep it up, big guy. <laughs> Stop bothering Sharon, okay? Right. Yeah. Here's John Mellencamp on K97. Camp on K97, and it hurts so good. It's uh, 11 minutes before 7, and we're spring cleaning at Sharky's place, and eavesdropping on Sharon and Sharky in the bedroom right now. <laughs> She's in my bedroom. Getting rid of... Leave it alone. Look, I found the Star Trek ship's logbook. Ooh, oh, let me get... <laughs> 
<laughs> Put it back in order. In order. Yeah. Leave that. Get out of it. Would you two stop it? Stop bickering. Two degrees, the high today, 10. We're spring cleaning at Sharky's Place. Uh, don't forget, if you phone through the K97 hotline, Classic Club members, uh, next Monday you got a shot of having the Breakfast Club come and do your yard work for you. No acreages, please. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> What the heck was that? Yes, we were reeling in a big one. Okay, kids, this contest from K97 in the fishing hole. We're looking for a youngster who wants their first fishing rod. Give us a call now at 4518097. What is that you're holding, Sharon? What I don't is know. This? Isn't this cool? Sharky, come here. I don't know if it's from Star Trek or not, but look at this. It could be Isn't some a wild sort of flashlight? Toy. I'm not You could sure. land planes what? with that thing. Wait a thing. second. Wait a second. What is it's this thing? It's from my trailer. I just wanted an emergency thing, kind of. Look at oh, that. Oh, oh, I see. It's an emergency in case, you know, there's an emergency in the trailer. <laughs> there will yeah. never be an emergency in my trip. Yeah, I know. Well, there were past indiscretions. But, well, Isn't this that is cool? Very that nice. Is. It's a flashlight, Sharon. Well, yeah, but I haven't seen one like that. You could land airplanes with that at the airport. Yeah, there you see, going like that. Yeah. You could be a parking attendant at Northlands with that, Sharon. Oh, joy. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you find in there? Anything good? Oh, you should see all the Star Trek. And it's all covered in plastic. Why is all your stuff covered in because plastic? Because it protects it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you weirdo. Where did you ever come up with that? <laughs> okay, 45180. Well, actually, we're looking for a uh, youngster right now. Kelly, you got anybody on the phone? Yes, we do, Bruce. We have Thomas on the line. Hi, Thomas. How you doing? Actually, I'm not Thomas. I'm his mother. Oh, well, you got to put Thomas on the phone, Mom. <laughs> well, he doesn't know how to talk yet. How old is he? He's 15 months. Oh, I thought he was going to say he's 15. <laughs> <laughs> well, that could be. Well, Thomas's mom, this was supposed to be for kids who could talk now. And kids well, who can never fish. Said that. I didn't say that. Silly me. When I tell kids, phone, get to the phone, that usually is an indication they can speak. <laughs> he's a little young for fishing, but I'll tell you what, it's Monday, and we'll let you have it oh, for Thomas, thanks. okay? K97 and the Fishing Hole, presenting the little one that got away. What's your name? I'm sorry. My name's Lorraine. Okay, Lorraine. It's a Zebco beginner's fiberglass rod and reel and a spin cast from the fishing hole, okay? So when he becomes a fishing age, he'll be said, hey, uh, are you a classic club member? You betcha. Oh, boy, did you luck out today. Do you like strawberries? I love strawberries. Good, because we got a flat of strawberries for you from Canada Safeway. Oh, nice. Wow, so it turned out to be a nice Monday for you. Yeah. Cheating in the contest, and you still made out like a bandit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, have a nice day, okay? Thanks a lot. All right. It's eight minutes now before seven as we check the birthdays for the 18th of April. Since we're at Sharky's, you're the guest birthday guy. No. Uh -oh. Okay, Conan O'Brien is 31. Oh, he's a workout kind of a guy. Wrong. No, he does late night. He replaced David Letterman. Oh, Correct okay. answer. Barbara Hale is 72. Oh, she's an actress. Wonderful actress. What show is she on? Can't recall. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting an air for that. She's on Perry Mason. She plays Della Street. Okay. Haley Mills is 48. Haley Mills. Oh, she's a singer. Uh, wrong. She's not a singer. She's an actress, Sharky. Uh, Eric Roberts is 38. Fabulous actor. Yes, yeah, a correct answer. Good oh. guess. James Woods is 47. James Wood, he's an actor. That yeah. I like. Yeah, the Young Restless, what is it? No, no, he's just a regular actor. Uh, okay. Melody Thomas Scott is 38. Oh, she's on a soap. How do you know that? Because I've heard it so many times. Isn't That's a she correct Vicky? answer. I think she's Nikki, actually. I have no idea who I she is. she's Nikki. Rick Moranis is 41. Oh, he's a comedian. That's a correct, Yeah, that's a correct answer. You did pretty good, Sharky. Thank you very much. Much better than these other two do most of the time. Right? Yeah. Eight now before seven, two degrees, a high today of ten. Car buyers, this is the sale you can't afford to miss. Presented by the Fish and Hole on K97. Six minutes before seven, two degrees, ten for a high today, 14 tomorrow. We're back into the high teens by Thursday or Friday. K97's Breakfast Club Monday morning live as we clean Sharky's uh, apartment. I gotta tell you, John's doing a fabulous job so far. He's doing the ice cube trays now. Here's the cranberries on K97. Here, the ice cube trays. Break. Clean at Sharky's this morning, 2 degrees, 10 for a high today. We'll check satellite information in a moment on K97's Breakfast Club. It's Lion the Family Stone. I hope you're happy. It's Colin James on K97, 17. Yes, Sharky? Hey, Bruce. Yes. Is, is the Stones playing on that song? The Rolling Stones? It sounds so much like the Stones. Uh, well, it certainly does sound like them. It could well be. Because they toured together, right? Well, Keith and uh, Colin James are pretty good buddies. I know that. Well, Colin James opened for them last year. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'll check with Mr. Expert Todd James when he comes in. Would uh, it just I, be on the album, you guys? You might on be CD? on the CD, but that's a single, isn't it? We don't have that yes. information. See, this is the problem with the CD. 
age. I'm going to tell you right now. And okay. you used to have albums. You had all that information always there. With CDs, they got nothing on there. Anyway, it might be, Keith. I'm not sure. That anniversary's coming up, the Stone Show, isn't it? it? Was it either the first or second, second or third? It was or... early October of Wasn't last that year. Else? Was. Remember, Edmonton was all a buzz. It seems so much longer. I don't know why. It seems like a long time ago, not just a year ago. Well, lots happened in a year in Edmonton. Oh, boy. Don't start with me on that. The Kila Road thing? No. <laughs> the cat pile It's 19 Don't get me six. started with that cat pile <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we mentioned Steve Fonio got arrested for having a stolen license plate on his car. That's what not a good. troubled person. Well, it, it's not his car, we don't think. He, oh. it, it might be a stolen car, too. But they haven't determined that. No. Now, isn't he a wanted here in Alberta? Well, yes, he is on one charge. On the other charge, he has yet to appear. But on one charge, there's still a warrant. But he didn't show up for his court date, right? No. no. So now they've got him in custody in B.C. Right. Extradite him back here. We'll cane the bugger. That's the only way to handle what? him. It's 19 after 6. Coming up at 6.30. It's Foreigner on K97 and hot-blooded 25 after 6. Sharky, is your aunt from England coming in this morning? Did you talk them yes, into it? Yes, Bubbles will be in around 7 o'clock this morning. About 7. And you're bringing the usual entourage of 50 relatives? No, just about 4. But they're all looking forward to seeing both of you. I've told nice things about you. It's all lies, lies dear. <laughs> Lots of lies. Let's be in our best behavior. Okay. Uh, that would be nice. Are they bringing food? Um, well, if you're listening, bring <laughs> food. <laughs> Bacon and egg might be okay. Ooh. <laughs> Breakfast. <laughs> 25 after 6 with Peter Gabriel on K97. Talking with the family uh -huh. about how to get people who owe you cash to pay up. Because oh, there are members a problem of, with one of your Weasley brothers and sisters? Oh, no, it's not me. But other members <laughs> oh. of my family have lent money out to people and uh -huh. don't have the guts to ask for it back. To come now, right out and say. I've never understood that because I would be really <laughs> assertive about getting this money back. But, Sharky, you're notorious as well. Yeah, well, I used to give a lot. I don't give at all now. No more. Uh-uh. I'm amazed, you guys, when I hear the stories <laughs> oh, of people. Oh, my gosh, a couple of grand to learn that lesson, didn't it? Thank you. But aren't you amazed when you hear stories of people who have lent out, like, big sums of money and to well, never be paid back? you should back? never. You should be very careful about who you lend it to. It's a real bad policy to lend money to family members and friends because if they stiff you, then all so, these what, big problems. you lend to complete strangers? Well, just don't lend money. My anyway. uncle, who's, uh, quickly, uh, he borrowed money off of my grandmother years yeah. and years ago, $6,000, and he didn't pay her back. She wrote him out of the will. Well, she wrote the six. She made it, a, a, you know, an well, addendum to the will. I said, <laughs> and take off the six grand that Ross owes me. Perfect. Oh, good for her. Anyway, what I suggest is that we would get <laughs> tips from our listeners on how you can get people who owe you cash to pay up some without phoning the police and perhaps good ways of approaching it. Not you know the hard nosed. I don't approach. know if there is anyway. We want to know if you have any tips. Four five one eight zero nine seven. The ensuite invites you to the full. It's going on K97 on a time for love, six minutes before seven. There's your first call to wake the kids up. Speaking of owing money and being able to collect, Sharky, do you ever intend to pay me the $50 you owe me that you lost in that bet? Okay, they're going to be nice today, but no. <laughs> of course I'm good. I always pay back my bets. Well, like, don't how, forget how long you, am I going to have to wait? You owed me money before, and I had to wait months for it, so we'll just, we'll have to just when? keep the, when? Oh, oiler bets and stuff. Come on, don't try to get out of this, Kenyon. Well, I don't know. Sharky, Bruce is pretty good at paying back his debts. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Five before seven. We're at six degrees of height today of 24. Coming up at seven o'clock, the front runners in Edmonton's Merrill uh, race faced some very tough questions last night. <laughs> Fish on K97. I only want to be with you. It's 13 minutes after 7. Good morning. We're at 6 degrees 24. Our expected high today with beautiful sunny weather again today. And we welcome to the studio this morning Sharky's Aunt Bubbles. Hi, Bubbles. Hello. Now, what's your real name anyway? Margaret. Margaret. Where did How'd we get... get Bubbles out of Margaret? Well, it's a nickname. Mothers. Does, does every one of the, your sisters and brothers have a nickname? Not all, no. <laughs> Most, though, right? Well, how many sisters are. and brothers do you have? Um, no, I've got two, seven. Seven, oh, that's so, it. So, have you been having fun since you came to Canada? It's oh, yes. been almost two weeks now. Yes, it's been beautiful. Busy? Lovely. And this is your first time in Canada? First time in Canada. What struck you as the most unusual thing? Other than Sharky. Well, I don't <laughs> think it was Sharky. What is an unusual thing? Is there anything that took you by surprise? No. Nothing? 
I can't think of anything offhand. No, really. Oh, shucks. Yeah, isn't it shin at a shame? <laughs> <laughs> but you've been having a nice time in trip really to the mountains. Really beautiful time. Yes, oh, well, that's really good. Lovely. And uh, Sharky's been a nice host, Oh, yes, he? he has. He's a yeah. lovely boy. He really is. We've always said that. We have to talk to him right now to get a check on traffic. <laughs> See you later, Bruce. We have no accidents or stalls this morning. I'll tell you what, though. Watch yourself. We can expect delayed barricades. Calgary Trail southbound from 23rd Avenue to 9th Avenue. It's going to be down to one lane. That should be all cleared off by the end of the week. Also, barricades 99th Street, north and southbound, down to one lane, 34th Avenue. That'll be happening for another 20 days or so. See any major problems this morning? Let us know. Sharky checking traffic for the K97 all-day traffic watch for. Budget car and truck rental. Ask about your first day free. It's true. That's GM Goodwrench Service Plus. Dealers may sell for less. 16 after 7, we're chatting with Sharky's uh, and Bubbles. Have you been to the mall yet? No, I haven't. We're you going... haven't been to the mall? No. Going today. Okay. Going today. When I was going to tell you about things that amaze you, the mall, okay? Now, are you going in the water slides? Go on the screamer, okay? Uh, no, I don't think I'm going. <laughs> well, there might be a few that's going on it, but I won't be one of them. Oh, you're not going to go on it. Hey, the mall's great. You'll have a great time there. Well, we'll try and think of a couple other things. And I I can't think of anything unusual, can you? At the mall? Or you mean just in general between Canada and England? I don't know. Things to do around town. Uh, have you been to the Matart? <laughs> Uh-oh. Brian Adams no, on I, K97. I, it's Brian Adams in the heat of the night on K97's Breakfast Club 22 after 7. <laughs> Gee, uh, we realize we have Frank and Olive with us, too, also visiting from uh, England. Hi, Olive. Hi Frank's there. filming all the proceedings over here. Now, will you guys live where? Very we close to Margaret. We live in Parkstone. Pool. Oh, okay. And this is in southern England. Yeah. And this is your first yep. time to Canada it as is. well? It so is. what have you noticed wow. that seems different? Oh, the vastness of the country. The space. Uh, yeah, as compared yeah. to Britain, yeah. it's monstrous. Yeah. You know. And you like the mountains? Oh, they're just spectacular. You want to attacked by a bear? No. Oh. <laughs> no, we saw everything but a bear. Oh, well. And we moved away, and two days later, the bear moved in. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's not the kind of thing you'd want to be too close to. Not really, to, you know? no. <laughs> too close to. No, but we saw everything. The oh. animals, it, it's been fantastic. The places they've taken us and the things they've done for us, the whole family. And they haven't even been to the mall yet, Bruce. We yeah. have. We have. Oh, oh you, you have. have. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. yeah. This it's will be our second eh? trip. Yeah. yeah. You're not kidding. Yeah. Well, back to the mall. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you bringing the donuts in. We want to thank you for that. That was very nice of you. And we hope you're having a nice trip, and we hope you enjoy your rest of your stay in Canada. We will. Thank yeah. you. Okay. It's thank 23 you. after 7. Bye. Coming up at 730, there's word today the Capital Region Health Authority is on yet another chopping mission. 21 before 8. Three months to go until Christmas. We want to thank you for passing that little gem along. I cannot wait. Well, actually, three months day will be Boxing Day. Oh, okay. Now, what did you want to ask about Christmas decorations? Christmas decorations. I've been to Costco, all three of them, buying yeah. my Christmas decorations, but I want to get out there and shop. Are there any other places this time of year you can oh, get Christmas decorations? Oh, have you never been to the Banff Christmas store? Oh, I've been there several times, but I can't afford this stuff in there, Bruce. Oh, it's just... so we want cheap Christmas stuff. Well, then. no, I want reasonably priced Christmas stuff. Where do you stuff. buy yours, Sharky? Well, there's that Christmas store that's open 365 days a year. Where is it? Where's that? Banff. Uh, no, there's one in Edmonton, I think. Yeah. Is I don't, that right? Well, there's one in the mall, isn't there? Yeah. But is it really pricey, you guys? Well, I... <laughs> like, for Who tourists? cares? Well, Sharon, the last time <laughs> I was there, which was just a couple of weeks ago, I found it to be quite reasonable. I don't do an awful lot of shopping for stuff lately. Well, check it out. I think there's one in the mall. I'm sure there's one on White Avenue, and if there's not, there should be. You guys, we don't have much time. Less than three <laughs> months. <laughs> Only three months. You know? Oh, we better start panicking. And now it's time to name that tune on Sharky's Machine. Name the tune four five one eight zero nine seven. Your chance to win tickets to see the Eskimos in the weekend. 20 before 8, 6 degrees, 24 for the high today. Sharky's here with K97's All Day Traffic Watch. Okay, Bruce, we either have a stalled vehicle or radar, so watch yourself. White Mud eastbound, that's at 159th Street. Also, starting to back up Walterdale this morning, so be aware of that. Barricades, slow going, you betcha. Calgary Trail southbound is down to one lane from 23rd Avenue to 9th Avenue. And if you're on 34th Avenue right now, stay left. Sharky checking traffic for the K97 All Day Traffic Watch. When you want to know more about something, 
So there's your third call to get the kids off to school. Do you know that, and I think it's in Nebraska or Kansas, I'm not sure if Anvira has been there, there's a whole town that is a Christmas theme. You're not serious. A whole town. And it's open all year round, and I mean, they have bus trips that go there all the time. Really? I can't recall Bruce, exactly. Well, find out the name, because I'd love what, to fall in there. you to go to Nebraska? Well, this is Christmas, and my uh, family is coming. Cheap, yeah. cheap, 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 cheap. <laughs> It's currently 5 degrees. Our high today expected to reach about 24 with sunny skies. Coming up at 8 o'clock, someone's going to get popped in the chops. A local lobby group admits that, you know, anti-rhymer voters really have a reason to be nervous. I was pissed. You died pissed. I'm still pissed. I was a good swimmer. Recognize the film? 4518097. Really nice. Recognize the language? Six now before eight. Here's the Sharkster. Yeah. Okay, we have no accidents, but we believe we have a stalled vehicle to watch for, and that is White Mud Eastbound 159th Street. Shutter stall or radar, so watch yourself. Also, expect delays, barricades, Calgary Trail southbound 23rd Avenue to 9th Avenue. Down to one lane there. You can stay left on 34th Avenue, all right? See any problems? Let us know. 451 8097. Star 973 toll free. Edta Mobility, AGT Mobility. Sharky checking traffic for the K97 Breakfast Club.